do you think might happen next time? Wow, holy crap, I see light bulbs going like this. Right? The other thing, you can't be afraid to die. Get on the phone. Talk to the people you've already built rapport with and ask for the money. Okay? Get in a live presentation. Connect with these people. Let them know. Now, before, what I'll typically do is, I'll have a presentation, which I can show you later, but we're really running out of time here. So, I'll have a presentation that qualifies them. And then from that qualifying process, if they meet my criteria, then I will hire them as my investor partners. Notice what I just said. They need me. I don't need them. Because somebody else will give me money. I can structure a deal. You've got to think like this. Live presentations, don't be afraid. Typically, that's where you get most of your money. So sometimes we'll set up an event, and we'll bring investors in. And then we'll tell them, I can't raise your money now, but if you want to sign up, we'll follow up with you. And you'll be amazed how many people sign up. If you do it the right way. Right? Case study. Please understand something, guys. There are regiments and legal elements of raising money. Okay? You can't offer a certain percentage of return. I highly recommend you talk to an attorney as far as raising capital side. If you want to watch a video some other time, I have a video with my attorney that we interviewed that talks about private placement offerings. I think it would be very valuable for us. We just don't have the time to do it right now. So if you want that, let me know. We'll get you the video with my interview with my attorney so that you understand the elements of how to legally do it. Remember, when you're marketing, there's a way to market without soliciting a securities. Uh, so, so again, keep this in mind as an investor. This is very important. You need to connect, set up a system. Live events, live events, live events. In this challenge that we've talked about, part of what we're going to do in the next couple months here is make you an influencer where you're hosting your own local events. And that is going to do wonders for your business. And you'll be amazed at how many people. You can ask her. We went to her event here in Orlando. We do a presentation, right? Yeah. What did I tell people? I can't take your money, right? How many people came up to me and said, but I've got money? <laughs> right? Yep. Even you're one of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? She's here. She's like, hey, Rick, I got some. I can't tell them what you, what you said. That's why I'm much. It's between you and me. But she's sitting here because I flat out told everybody, look, this is what we do. It's so much fun. Hey, this is kind of the stuff we're doing. By the way, we can't take your money. Because somebody immediately in the, we set it up, of course, to do that. Anyway. But then somebody says, well, hey, how do we get to the park? Well, we can't do that here. It's illegal to talk about it. But we can talk about it one-on-one -on -one later if you like. What happened? And I still remember, I still remember when we had the table up front and Gary and I were sitting on it. The guy's like, do you really need this table? It's a Q&A session. Mm -hmm. And remember what did Gary said? Yeah, we're going to need that table. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, for what? He's like, no, he's thinking, this guy's cocky as heck. <laughs> Dude, thank God we had that table in front of us. People ran up on us. Yeah. Because we weren't selling anything. Do you understand? I love this business. I love it. Don't give me your money. <laughs> okay. So from now on, you say, I don't need your money. Right? Practice follow-up. And you will get paid. But if you're telling me, Rick, I'm not getting this money raised. And I come back and I say, what's your follow-up system? And you say, well, none. Well, this is not getting paid. <laughs>